Hello and welcome to Sufini Designs. Today we're down in the park once again at the gallery. This is um, where I am most Saturdays down here at Man in the Gallery. So let's go in and see the space that I have. So I'll just give you a quick show around the gallery. So there's five artists here in total. Mm -hmm and uh, they range from watercolours to acrylics just let me do another bit. So acrylics and then we've got a mixture of uh, sketches, painting, sculptures and what have you and then we move round to this side where my art is now you'll probably recognise some of this because I've done videos on the various pieces, sculptures and what have you. So this is where, after I've done the videos, where my pieces come to live until they're sold. So there's quite a few on the walls here. And like I say, I work down here on Saturdays. So it just does my my little bit. So just moving around the room. You probably recognise some of the pieces from some of the videos. So there's quite a few things, I've done tables, uh, various bits and pieces, and I've sold quite a few down here. Oh, and just quickly, let me go around here because go back outside, because here comes the tram. So. go back in here and wait for it to quiet down. Oh, now you can hear the train as well. Can you hear that? The train. There's a steam train as well. So today's video is going to be on how I created this piece. It's actually a two-part piece. So as you can see, you can separate it and have them as individual pieces. Now what I've done here is I've used potpourri for these pieces and then uh, mix them in a bit of resin with a bit of gold to give it that really nice glossy look um, and it's also transparent so as you can see you can see the light through the piece there so it's actually quite effective so this video is on how I created this piece I did think about putting glue in the two pieces together and just having one piece but I actually quite like it being separated so without further ado, let's get into the video. So like all the other um, resin sculpting videos I do, I'm starting out with pouring onto some clear plastic. For this one I'm using cellophane again, and but you can use plastic bags, uh, cell, um, cling wrap and things like that. So you can even use baking paper. So whatever you've got to hand, you can use um, each item gives you slightly different results so but I'm using a glossy cello bag because you get a nice glossy shiny finish so all I've done first of all is just poured some clear then some gold and then some magenta and using the back of a spoon I'm just gently uh, mixing those together but I'm not going over the top because I don't want to muddy it so it's just a gentle action and then next we're going to add some potpourri Okay, so I've placed the potpourri on a plastic um, plate and now just mixing it with a little bit of the clear, the pink and the gold. Um, I've just tossed that round on the plate to make sure that the potpourri is coated in the resin and now um, just using a gloved hand, just placing it around the edge. Now, by adding a little bit of gold, it actually gives it a really nice um, look. It just gives it the the potpourri just that extra bit of sparkle, which was really nice. And then just using a stick, I just applied a bit of the resin over the top, just to make sure that that's fully coated in resin. Okay, this has been left for a few hours. It's no longer sticky. However, if you were to touch one of the sticks, you'll see that you can still leave fingerprints. That's a good indicator that it's now ready for moving. 
Now what I'm going to do now is just place another cello bag on the top. This allows me to place the second layer on top but also means that I can readjust and move it because if it was to stick the second layer straight on top I wouldn't then be able to move it and manipulate it because it would be stuck fast to the other resin so by sticking some plastic between it just makes it that little bit easier to move. And now just adding a little bit of heat this just helps the resin bend a little bit easier you don't need to go mad with this, it's just a gentle heat action just to help with the movement. And especially if your resin's been left a little bit longer or it's a little bit thicker, you may need a little bit more heat to help it uh, bend. So now once you're happy with the, the layout of it, how it's hanging there and the shape, it's now time to leave it overnight. Now these ones are, it's the next day and it's now time to remove the cellophane bags or the plastic or whatever it is that you've used on your piece. I would like to take this opportunity to thank everyone who has purchased my ebook, The Essential Beginner's Guide to Resin Art Techniques. The sale of this ebook goes a long way to help fund these videos and so for that I'm eternally grateful. So thank you for that. If you like this video and like to, would like to see more resin ideas then please subscribe to my channel or better still go and browse more of the videos. I have quite a few different videos to choose from and hopefully they'll keep you inspired. So see you in the next video. Bye for now.